Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa. Oh my gosh, the video series that has me lounging. While coming at you, thoughts of the day. Here comes Bernadette out to the porch. Out Here she is. Miss America, I'm waiting on mother. We have to take the child's car to the shop. Um, it's kind of a mechanic's dream because really he can... Uh, it's not a rush to get it done like... Uh, he has till September, but I'm kidding. He's going to get it done earlier because I'm going to be able to drive it. There's Bernadette saying good morning. Okay. Um, here's my hair when it's humid, which it is now, which allows me to wear the shirt that normally has static cling, but there's no static in the humidity. You know how that goes, scientifically speaking, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, we're fixing to head up to Jeff's Automotive located in Conneautville. That's where I cover the meetings for the papers at town. So I thought I would check in and let you know a few things. Here's the deal. When I get home from this gig, I'm going to pay bills and do things that I've neglected for some time now, ladies and gentlemen, and get that out of the way totally. I think I am going to do a live gig this weekend. I'm not sure. It might just be Sunday, but I will tell you later. And I believe we are going to go ahead and do the game formerly known as What's My Bag, where I give clues and then, you know, the first one is kind of, you know, not very detailed, and then by the last one you'll get it. Everybody guesses it on, like, the second one or something. I try to be clever, but it doesn't always work. Now does it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to do that. But prior to doing any of this jazz, what I'll do when I get back, I think, is head over to the pool house and just test the going live capability. So if you see me going live, I don't know what time it might be, between 11 and 1 o'clock or something. It's just sort of a test, nothing major. I mean, you wouldn't even have to really show up now that I think of it. I just need to make sure I have a signal and all that jazz just to test it out. So that's the deal. That's what's happening here in northwestern Pennsylvania on a rather muggy Friday morning, uh, May something or other, blah, blah, blah. Now, meanwhile, under one of my videos, I Bernadette. She's just right there. I got a comment from Cryptic Thinker, a woman. I, I know her. I love her. I cannot live without her. Her birthday is May 11th, and she gave me some interesting things about herself in the comment section. I'll get more details, um, you know, out of her through email. But um, next weekend, at least I have a game plan. We will be celebrating uh, the dear, uh, sweet Cryptic's birthday. And she was born in 1960, which is a year I have not covered yet, I don't think. No, wait a minute. Was Benny Loco born then? Yeah. Benny was born in 60, I think. Or was it 61? I don't know. Anyhow, I can't keep track of it all, but it doesn't matter. I'll figure out some stuff. And Cryptic lives in Texas. So there might be some fun Texas information there and blah, blah, blah. Um, not really. I'm trying to think what I listened to on the way to sleep last night. I can't remember it. You know, I like to listen to the UFO stuff or the esoteric or the alternative research and all that jazz. But I have found a really good... News outlet, uh, gentlemen, I think he goes by the last American vagabond. And it's three different words that's not all crammed together. And he does like a 25-minute overview of the news that happened in the last 24 hours. Really good. Um, pointing out that, of course, not every, people aren't really accepting this BB Net and Yahoo BS. Thank goodness. I'm sure some are, but they are because they want, you know, war to never end. So, um, yeah, the great, the last American vagabond, I think is what it's called. Um, check him out if you'd like. He seems to have a, he seems to be, uh, you know, he doesn't carry the water, which I like, you know, for anybody. He doesn't, he's not going to sit there and say, oh, liberals are terrible and conservatives are hideous or any of that. It's just even hatred for both sides or all sides or whatever. All right, that's all I have to get going because Bernadette's in front of the gay garage. The gar, the how do they say it across the pond? The garage, the garage. Okay. Anyhow, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me, join others, drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is a racket by General Smedley Butler. Mother will be calling me shortly in a few seconds to say, "Let's go." So, let's go. Love you.